Police in Jammu and Kashmir's Handwara launched an operation targeting bookshops to prevent the circulation of banned Jamit Islami literature. Multiple bookshops were inspected in sensitive areas, and banned books were confiscated. Owners were warned about the legal consequences of distributing such material. Authorities emphasized the importance of complying with laws to maintain public order. Citizens were urged to report any unlawful activities, and further investigations are ongoing to take legal action against violators. The center has approved the construction of a tunnel through Kila Pass in Ladakh, linking Leh to Pangong Lake, and the upgradation of the Nurbo Sundo Kyoto Road in Himachal Pradesh. The projects, aimed at enhancing civilian and military travel, will be funded under the Strategic Road Projects budget. The Kila Tunnel, expected to be 7 to 8 kilometers long and cost around rupees 6,000 crore, will significantly reduce travel time and improve year round access. The Border Roads Organization will prepare the detailed project reports. The Tejas MK2 will feature two new sensors Missile Approach Warning System, MAWS, and Infrared Search and Track System, IRSD, developed by DRDO's IRD. MAWS offers 360 degree missile threat detection, while the IRSD can track multiple targets at long ranges. Both sensors are in trial stages and will be integrated with advanced avionics. The Tejas MK2, slated for production by 2027 to 2028, will also have a redesigned cockpit and improved flight systems. The JF-17 Block III, a major upgrade of the JF-17 Thunder, recently participated in Saudi Arabia's Victory Spear 2025 Air War Games, alongside global fighters like Rafale and F-15. The aircraft, now fully operational, displayed impressive combat capabilities, including long-range flights and advanced radar systems. Fitted with cutting-edge technology, including ASA radar and electronic warfare subsystems, the JF-17 Block III is set to become a key asset in the Pakistan Air Force's fleet. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Larsen and Tubro signed a Memorandum of Understanding at Aero India 2025 to indigenize the Trophy Active Protection System. This proven battlefield technology, featuring counter-US capabilities, will be integrated into India's defense platforms. The partnership supports India's Atmanirbhar Bharat and Make in India initiatives, enhancing India's defense capabilities while contributing to local manufacturing and operational readiness, as stated by both company CEOs. Army Chief General Apendrad Vivedi praised the India-US defense agreements, noting the upcoming 10-year framework will strengthen defense production and promote self-reliance. This agreement, set to begin in 2025, aims to enhance defense ties and streamline procurement between the two countries. Both nations will collaborate on new technologies like Javelin missiles, striker vehicles, and P-8I aircraft. Additionally, plans to provide India with F-35 fighter jets highlight growing defense cooperation. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, is reportedly in advanced discussions with Rolls-Royce and Safran to co-develop a 110 kN engine for India's Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA. A GTRE official stated that the vendor selection process is nearing completion, with recommendations to be presented to the Indian Air Force and Ministry of Defense. Rolls-Royce is seen as the leading contender, mainly due to its comprehensive engine roadmap and its offer to transfer full intellectual property rights to GTRE, giving India complete control over the engine's design and future development. In contrast, Safran has proposed partial IPR transfer, limiting India's control. Both companies have agreed to establish production facilities in India and assist with engine testing. But the GTRE official suggested that Rolls-Royce's full IPR transfer is a decisive factor. This aligns with India's focus on self-reliance in defense technology. The Ministry of Defense will make the final decision, considering technological, cost, and geopolitical factors. The engine selection is crucial for the AMCA program, which aims to develop a state-of-the-art fighter jet. The outcome will have a significant impact on India's aerospace future and its defense capabilities. India is reportedly considering acquiring the F-35A Lightning II fighter jet alongside its ongoing development of the Indigenous Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. This move comes as Pakistan explores options to enhance its fleet with fifth-generation stealth fighters, including the Chinese J-35A, and the Turkish KAN. Pakistan is looking to acquire the J-35A, 
a twin-engine stealth fighter developed by China, although it is believed to have less advanced avionics and engine performance compared to the F-35. Additionally, Pakistan is considering the Turkish KN fighter, currently under development, with potential collaboration between the two countries on the project. If India acquires the F-35A, it would mark a historic shift, as India would be the first country in 75 years to operate the F-35 without a prior American-built fighter. The F-35 as advanced stealth, radar, and electronic warfare capabilities would provide India a significant advantage over Pakistan's fleet. Coupled with the AMCA, India would maintain air superiority in the region. The AMCA, developed by India's DRDO and HAL, is expected to offer advanced stealth and superior electronic warfare capabilities. Together with the F-35A, these platforms would ensure India's dominance in South Asia, contrasting with Pakistan's reliance on foreign fighters. The first round of India-Chad Foreign Office Consultations, FOC, took place on February 13 in N'Djamena, Chad, where both sides conducted a comprehensive review of their bilateral relations. The consultations were co-chaired by Savala Naik Mead, Additional Secretary of Central and West Africa from India, and Fatim Aljana Garfa, Chad's Minister Delegate for Foreign Affairs. The discussions covered various areas of cooperation, including trade investment, health, education, agriculture, defense, and cultural exchanges. Both parties agreed to strengthen these areas and enhance cooperation within multilateral forums. They also exchanged views on regional and global issues, with Garfa expressing appreciation for India's support in securing African Union membership in the G20, recognizing it as a boost for the Global South. During the visit, Mead met with key Chadian officials, including the Prime Minister and various ministers in sectors such as health, telecommunications, and agriculture. India and Chad share strong cordial relations, with several Indian companies active in Chad, particularly in oil and telecommunications. Despite a decline in bilateral trade, which peaked at 513.59 million US dollars in 2018 to 19, the countries continued to explore new areas for collaboration, including renewable energy and defense. Both sides agreed to hold the next foreign office consultations in New Delhi at a mutually convenient date. New Space Research and Technologies Private Limited NRT has achieved a significant milestone in autonomous drone technology with the successful first flight of its Sheshnag 150 long-range swarm drone. Samir Joshi, CEO and director of NRT, shared an image of the drone in flight, marking a major advancement in AI-driven military capabilities. The Sheshnag 150 is a 150 kg UAV designed for attritable warfare focusing on overwhelming the enemy through mass and saturation attacks. The drone's swarm capabilities allow for coordinated operation of multiple units in autonomous or semi-autonomous missions. With a substantial payload capacity, the Sheshnag 150 can inflict significant damage, serving as a force multiplier in large-scale operations. The drone has a range of over 1,000 kilometers and an endurance of 5 hours, enabling it to strike deep into enemy territory. Its onboard AI enhances mission effectiveness and supports intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance roles. This versatility makes the Sheshnag 150 valuable for a variety of strategic operations. This achievement signifies a major step forward in autonomous warfare, offering a cost-effective yet powerful tool for both offensive and defensive operations. NRT's continued development of the Sheshnag series is expected to reshape modern aerial combat, showcasing India's growing capabilities in unmanned aerial systems. That's all from YKS TV.